To best serve your customers and grow your business, you must make informed decisions. Even though it's a key part of many businesses, reliably predicting the future behavior of specific customers is no easy task. Today, we have more consumer data than ever to draw on, but of course, data alone is not enough. We need a means of turning this data into actionable insights. Historically, the tool of choice in many business applications has been logistic regression. Logistic regression is a proven and explainable modeling technique. One common application of logistic regression is credit risk modeling. Using logistic regression, we can predict if a potential customer will default on a loan based on information such as savings account balance and past utilization of credit. If we plot the values of these two attributes for historical customers, we can see how logistic regression operates. The mathematical machinery behind logistic regression will find the line that best separates our historical customers into those who defaulted and those who did not. We can then make an informed decision to grant or deny credit to our new customer based on whether they fall above or below our decision boundary. However, when modeling real data, we often run into a problem. No matter where we move our linear decision boundary, the nonlinear interactions between our attributes mean that we may have to choose between denying creditworthy customers and accepting customers who may default. We need a better approach. One solution is to fuse together the outputs of multiple logistic regression models. This works well in some cases, but requires modelers to make educated guesses about which types of models will work well together. Fortunately, there is a better way to bring together multiple logistic regression models that allows all models to be simultaneously optimized to maximize overall performance. This approach is called a neural network. When applied to the nonlinear data we saw earlier, our neural network creates a smoothly curved decision boundary, allowing us to capture finer distinctions and make better predictions. So why then are neural networks not common practice in credit risk modeling? To answer this question, we must consider the trade-off we make when using neural networks. Neural networks are often called black box models because they are not explainable. This is a real challenge in regulated business environments, such as our credit risk modeling example. This inability to explain the prediction makes it difficult to follow industry best practices, and in many applications, uninterpretable models may not comply with regulatory requirements. For these reasons, the high performance of neural networks is not used in many business applications. But what if we didn't have to choose between performance and explainability? What if we could harness the power of neural networks for regulated business applications? Remarkably, this is exactly what researchers in the Equifax Data and Analytics Lab have done. The result, NeuroDecision, represents a deep and careful reworking of the neural network modeling approach. NeuroDecision is a patent-pending solution that combines the cutting-edge performance of neural networks with the explainability required to adhere to industry best practices and comply with complex regulations. Contact your Equifax representative to learn more.